I do need to put on these Ailsa Craig. They're at a stage now where they need to be out of this big pot. Definitely a lot slower than the other two varieties for the giant onion, but they're finally through. And my other onions, if you can see, are doing okay. They need a water. It's been a bit hard to get some rain water. It's been a bit frozen, so I may go up the garden today and just get some more and bring it in here to warm up because they're looking like they may need a drink, but they are thickening up the stems on those definitely getting stronger all looking great definitely need a water and I need to get the fan switched over so there's my little update right it's Tuesday and I've decided I'm going to put on my onions for the giant onion growing challenge 24-25 let me just show you what we've got so far I won't show, well, I will show you those. I put some Bedfordshire Champion Seed that I had from last year in and some Red Baron. Well, the Red Baron have come up, but there's absolutely nothing on the Bedfordshire Champion. I will keep it in there just in case. But again, I do think with onions again, you maybe need fresh seed for the best, best results. Um, I haven't ever yet potted up my Elsa Craig I've got four there. So today I'm gonna to pot those on into singular pots. Let me just line them all up here. I also started my chilies for Jason at Allotment of the Dead's Chili Challenge. These are the Total Eclipse and the Joe's Long. Obviously I only planted two of each and they're fairly straight, slightly leaning, so I need to turn them around for the light. But I'm thinking I may already put those on. Propping things up left, right and centre. I need to get to the onions. Let me bring them forward and I will show you how we're going. Um, planted the 3rd of December, so well over a month old. And rather than pick these up, We'll just take the camera off here and show you where we're at. Right, they're blowing because the fan is on them. The lights are 12 hours on, 12 hours off. But they've got a bit one way rather than the other. They were on for 12 hours during the, during the night and off during the day, but somehow that's got <laughs> a bit mixed up. Um, so the Elsa and the Kelsa are all looking pretty similar now. So I think they're Elsa too. Terrible labelling. So what I'm going to do now is get a white marker because I've got black pots and like I've seen everybody else do, I'm going to put these into individual pots and just put an A or a K on them so I know what each plant is. But they are definitely thickened up in there. And I'm just looking for something to do today to keep me busy. So let's get potting them up. I've just ordered, I'm literally doing about six things at once. I need to just calm down a minute. Yeah, I bought, I'm not even getting out of the box, two more strip lights. Strip lights. Two more of these lights that I've been using. Um, one station just wasn't enough, and luckily, the tin foil that Trisha made for me actually goes into this the one below as well so I'm just going to rig these lights up and get some more lights under here right I've moved around slightly I haven't got a lot of space I will have more space in here after today because the compost that I've got for the onions I'm going to use and the rest of it will go into the van just out of the way um, I think as well as the compost that I've got in here I need to be able to move a little bit more mycorrhizal fungi 
stuff and I need that. And I've got a little bit of compost left in here from doing the other sewing. So I might just keep that and I'm going to put some of the, uh, what do we call it, the special compost for the onions. There we go, I think I've got enough in there to keep me going. Do a better setup in here. So, literally, so somebody did say to me these would have been better in pots from the off, only because these are a bit fiddly to navigate and not damage the plant. I'm going to pull off those first leaves. Some are looking better than others and once they're in their own individual pots that will be so much easier to put the green sticks and the loops to keep them up straight so I'm not going to video all of this these are the little pots let's measure what these pots are they're three inch pots these pots half filled with the compost then I'm going to try and uh, very dry that one see at the end it didn't get as much water as the others quite a delicate job at this stage don't want to break any of the stems again don't want to bury it too low either try and keep it at the same depth but there's the first one I think I'll do this first and then I'll do all the sticks and get my white marker out and mark them up. Right, I'm gonna crack on and get the rest of these potted on and I'll come back to you when they're done. Right, let me show you. I've had a bit of a juggle round. It's quite awkward now in order to get everything to fit on the shelf. I brought some larger trays to go on here so making use of this space but unfortunately they don't fit so for the time being this is the best setup I've got my Elsa Craig all potted on over here my peppers are balancing on here at the minute I need to label these onions but I didn't get there see what I mean that almost slipped off there and that's what I don't want so that will be moved let's start getting some order Elsa Craig. Not sure how well this will stay on. These are my Elsa Craig, not fantastic. Potted on now so they can thrive a bit better and I will get them secure under the new light. Right, I've just decided. I'm also going to put clips on these onions while I'm here. See if I can just give you a close up of these clips. So you've got your green stick. These look huge when you take them out. I found if I just clip one on, push that on, twist that, clip that on. They've created like a hoop. Can you see that? Just watching everybody do it made it look so easy. And then when you've come to do it yourself, it's a bit, throws you a bit. And in order to get these on, put it on here. I'm going to stick it in the, not the best way, I'm sure, but very gently without damaging the onion. And I'll pull it through, make sure it's in firmly and then pull it up slowly I think just until it's where it actually supports the onion and does what it's supposed to do. Can you see that? And that needs to be marked up with a K for Kelsey. And those are what ours look like up close right now getting thicker whereas compared to that one that's not not so great K 
can stick stick number two around here these is actually 50 in the box i've just seen the um invoice in the box and they were just under 10 pounds for 50 i cannot remember the price of these sticks but you can pick them up quite a lot of places the hoops were a little bit more difficult to find i think i've followed a link on duncan's coastal gardens videos there was a link underneath for the for the hoops it is Amazon. Do you know what I've just thought as well? I'm probably going to need more clips as the onion grows. So I think I will hold off. Because maybe each one of these might want two to three clips further down their growing journey. I'm just trying to zoom in there, but I can't get it to do. So. Shall we have a closer look just to see what I've finished up with before I saw my chilies? I think I need to go and have breakfast before I tackle that job. All right, can you see the six that I think are the better plants for now? So they've had the supports put on as best I can. The rest are just going to have to cope without. While I now move on to the Kelsey at this side. 